They started in Jeeps, with images of seven sloth grills showing up on windshield edges, the text since 1941 appearing in the clear plastic of headlight units, and a relief map of mold engraved into a rubber cubby liner. Then a Chrysler got a map of Detroit and the outline of Laguna Saka materialized near the Viper's window switch. We've come to call them Easter eggs, but Klaus Bus points out that they were never really meant to be secrets just ways to dress up what he calls dead plastic. He's nevertheless cool with the phrase being applied but likes the enthusiastic response these design details get. Buss is intimately familiar with many of them, having signed off on many of them in his time as head interior designer for FCA's US operations. He recently moved to Europe to lead Alfa Romeo, Maserati, and Fiat designed there, so when I caught up with him next to the new Stevio crossover at the Alfa stand in LA, I had to ask, are we going to see any of those neat design details in Alfa's or Maserati's anytime soon? They started in Jeeps with images of seven slot grills showing up on windshield edges, the text since 1941 appearing in the clear plastic of headlight units, and a relief map of mold engraved into a rubber cubby liner. Then a Chrysler got a map of Detroit and the outline of Laguna Saka materialized near the Viper's window switch. We've come to call them Easter eggs, but Klaus Bus points out that they were never really meant to be secrets just ways to dress up what he calls dead plastic. He's nevertheless cool with the phrase being applied but likes the enthusiastic response these design details get. Buss is intimately familiar with many of them, having signed off on many of them in his time as head interior designer for FCA's US operations.